Well, good afternoon, uh, Minister Payne and Minister Dutton. Let me also thank you for coming all the way to Washington to join us. It's great to see you. Your presence here reflects the strength of what we're proud to call the Unbreakable Alliance. Our alignment on the most important strategic issues of the day attest to the enduring value of our partnership. And speaking of partners, I want to thank my friend and colleague, Secretary Blinken, for a welcoming, welcoming us all to the State Department. Tony, you've been a great host, and, uh, and thanks for, for, uh, for having us. As my colleagues have made clear, the United States and Australia share an enduring bond. United by our common values, and common interest. And deepened through more than a century of shared battlefield sacrifice from the Somme to Afghanistan. It's not lost on me, and certainly what Secretary Blinken highlighted just a moment ago, that Australian troops have been at our side through thick and thin, through every conflict of the modern era, and certainly over the last two decades. I've served with and fought alongside our allies from down under, and I can attest to their bravery, their skill, their professionalism in the face of danger. I'm extraordinarily grateful for their courage and for their mateship. And here today, we still stand shoulder to shoulder as mates, ready to face the challenges and the opportunities of the future. And that's what this new trilateral security partnership between the U.S., the U.K., and Australia is all about. And as Secretary Blinken noted, an important first step for AUKUS will be our efforts to help Australia acquire nuclear-powered submarines. This will significantly improve the Australian Navy's reach and defensive capabilities. It will also help to contribute to what I call integrated deterrent, deterrence in the region. The ability for the United States military to work more effectively with our allies and partners in defense of our shared security interests. This morning we had a robust discussion across the full range of those security interests to include terrorism, climate change, and the increasingly contested security environment in the Indo-Pacific. We spoke in detail about China's destabilizing activities in Beijing's efforts to coerce and intimidate other countries, contrary to established rules and norms. And while we seek a constructive, results-oriented relationship with the PRC, we will remain clear-eyed in our view of Beijing's efforts to undermine the established international order. Now let me also take a moment to thank Australia for its continued support of the Marine Rotational Force, Darwin, which is completing its annual deployment despite the difficulties of COVID-19. I'm proud of the breadth and the depth of our alliance, and it's only getting stronger. Yesterday, Minister Dutton and I signed a statement of intent that will expand our efforts to co-develop advanced defense capabilities. And today, we endorse major force posture initiatives that will expand our access and presence in Australia. We agreed to take immediate steps to improve interoperability through deeper integration. And we reaffirmed our commitment to expanding multilateral efforts, especially with Japan, through the trilateral defense ministers meeting, and also with India. And so, Minister Payne, Minister Dutton, thank you again for being here today and for a very productive couple of days. And I look forward to working closely with you as we deepen this alliance. And of course, I look forward to joining Secretary Blinken on a trip to Australia at the earliest possible opportunity. Thank you very much.